Hi everyone, let's unlock another variant. This time, it's time to unlock a villain variant for Baron Blade. So, how do you unlock Baron Blade's villain uh, variant? Well, you have to defeat standard Baron Blade, which I did, I believe, in episode 2. Uh, so that's done. If you haven't seen that yet, go back to episode 2, because that's the first step. Once you've done that, you have to fight Citizen Dawn and destroy Citizen Blood sweat and tears in the same round it's pretty difficult I'm not gonna lie so what's my plan for this well I have um, Haka and he started the game with savage mana savage mana whenever Haka destroys a card put that card beneath this card so what I can do is as blood sweat and tears come out really as every villain comes out I can let Haka get the killing blow, hopefully, since he's at the back. When he gets the killing blow, he will, instead of going into the trash, place the card under here. And then I can use the power on Savage Mana to destroy them all at once. I need to get Blood, Sweat, and Tears under there and destroy it. Or destroy them. Uh, if I can do that, then that will get me the variant for Baron Blade. I tried this once already, and I failed, unfortunately, so I thought that I would go ahead and jump into the game and get everything ready before trying. So let's go ahead and start. That's Citizen Spring, Assault, Autumn, there's Tears. Oh, thank goodness she played this now. Man, okay, well, this the devastating Aurora will actually destroy my plane. So hopefully, hopefully I don't have to deal with that. Assault is going to deal each hero one, which is fine. Let's hope that the next devastating Aurora just never comes. Um, it doesn't matter, nobody has ongoing cards out. We all have to discard one, which sucks. Okay, she's definitely not going to get rid of infrared eyepiece. 100%, no way. These are all really good. I'm going to go with throat, throat Jab, I think. Tempest Chain Lightning is fine. No, not fine. Electrical Storm is fine. Well, Vicious Cyclone's better. Electrical Storm. Visionary. I think Foresight is, is fine. Haka can get rid of Enduring Intercession. Alright, it's our turn. So, I need to get Citizen Tears down to 2 HP, so that Haka can kill her. I think we will go with, yeah, I think we'll do that. Play Motivational Charge, use it. On citizen tears down to three we will all heal for one which is good gonna need that healing since I'm kind of playing a slow game I think I want infrared eyepiece I kind of have to play this every turn so that she cannot get another devastating Aurora out at the start of the villain turn each system gains one HP is fine Return with the Dawn is not fine, so I'm going to play Luminous Leadership on top, and the other will go on the bottom. Utility Belt is fantastic for this setup. I think I will Chain Lightning. Um, a Citizen Assault needs to go. Citizen Autumn needs to go. So assault will be first, I think. Let's see. No, I can hit. I can if I can get him down to one. Squall will kill him. Tempests will squall will kill him. So we'll do this and then this, which is good. That killed him, and then we'll just put two on the spring. Not a big deal. Then we will use squall. The order does not matter. Assault will die. Autumn will go down to one. Alright, 
Visionary. Visionary has nothing but damage. So we may actually skip. Who needs to c draw some cards? I think I'd probably need to get a few... There's a few cards in uh, Legacy's hand that I want to get. The more damage I have, the better, really. Um, actually, you know, I probably should have done it on Hakka so we could get Teaha, so he could kill two at once. Perhaps. I think Danger Sense is fine. I'm playing Ruins of Atlantis, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure why I picked that one, but I did, so that's fine. <laughs> Play Savage Mana. And we'll use his, uh, what's the name of this? Crush on Citizen Tears. So Citizen Tears is destroyed, and she goes under Savage Mana. Good. There's a Teaha. Perfect. The more people I can put underneath him, the better I am, because she can't, like, reclaim or something. Kraken is going to do some killing for me. Kind of unfortunate. I hope I can find some way to destroy it. We know what she's going to play. Yes, Luminous Leadership is fine. Going to hit Hakka for three. And they will heal. Inspiring Presence increases all damage by one. That's pretty strong. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Haka will heal, but that's kind of it. I think we'll go ahead and smack the Kraken for four. Lead from the front, always nice. I think I'll play Utility Belt here, maybe. Or Throwing Knives first. No. Mm -hmm. I have to play Inferred Eyepiece. So we'll play Utility Belt. We'll control her deck. Blood, we need blood out. So he'll go on top. Impromptu Invention is fantastic. We'll control the environment deck a little bit. Discard their hand. I don't like that at all, so we'll put that in the trash. Uh, that's what her power does, by the way. Her base power for Rook City Wraith. Look at the environment card. You can just dis discard it or keep it. Okay. Do we want to chain lightning? We kind of do, because we need to drop Citizen Spring a little lower. So um, Hawk can finish him off. I can put a bit of damage uh, on the Kraken. Um, not four. I need to do less than that. There we go. He will not squall. He'll skip that because I don't want to kill Citizen Spring. Okay. So, Mental Divergence, destroy an ongoing card. Could be nice here, but this ongoing is really doing nothing, right? Start the villain turn, regain 1 HP. That's that's almost nothing, so... I think what I'll do instead is I will Mind Spike the Kraken. In the hopes of killing it off. Who needs card draw now? Probably still... Mm, I give it to Tempest. Tempest could use it. Localized Hurricane's very good. So is Grievous Hailstorm. Just makes his base power even better. Just replaces his base power, really. Get rid of Vicious Cyclone. It's not a card that I ever really like using. Okay. Um, I think we'll go ahead and use Tayaha. And he can use this now to kill both Citizen Spring. And he will go. she will go under Savage Mana and the Kraken will go under Savage Mana as well. So far I'm in a very good spot. Very good spot. Um, if she plays... Actually I'm going to be controlling her deck, so she should never play Reclaim from the... I forget the name of the spell. Where she reclaims a, uh, a character from the trash. Increase all damage dealt by one. Increase all HP recovery by one. At the end of the environment turn, each player must discard a card. At the start of the environment turn, each player may discard one card to destroy this card. Okay. Um, I'm going to save Flying Smash in case I really need to do something like clear a bunch of enemies. Wraith can get rid of. I think Smoke Bombs is fine. Tempest can drop Gene Down Shackles. 
Visionary can drop suggestion. No, I want to hold on to that. Three targets, two psychic damage. Each on hero target, two, two psychic damage. I guess I'll get rid of this one. And Vitality, Vitality Surge. So all of our damage will be up a little bit. Citizen Blood, we knew that was coming. Who's got the lowest HP? It's only going to hit for two, so we'll go ahead and put it on Visionary. It's fine. By themselves, these guys are nothing. Uh, go ahead and let everybody draw a card. Cleansing Downpour is very strong. Another Teaha, doesn't matter. I think I will Motivational Charge on Citizen Blood. Ooh, wow. Have to make sure nothing else I do hits him uh, until, ha uh, until Haka's turn. Everybody will heal for two if they're not at full. Okay. Let's go ahead and get... I thought she had Utility Belt somewhere. I guess not. We'll go ahead and play Impromptu Invention. Oh, wait. She does have a... Okay. Oh, that's good. Destroy an ongoing card. I really needed that. Let's get... Stun Bolt, perhaps? Since I already have Utility Belt. I'm, I didn't realize I had it in play already. Uh, let's put Stun Bolt out. And then we'll put... Um, Micro Targeting Computer... Use infrared eyepiece to control the deck. Definitely not Citizen Truth. I hate you, Citizen Truth. Citizen Dawn regains 10 HP. Everyone else heals. That's totally fine. Put that on top. And then she will stun bolt on Citizen Dawn. It's going to hit for like 5, yeah. So her damage gets reduced. Awesome. I think I'll play... Uh, hmm. Just play Grievous Hailstorm, but I won't use it yet. I'll skip. Okay, she will play Decoy Projection, perhaps? Um, we'll get Mental Divergence out. And I guess I might as well destroy her ongoing, yeah. Destroy an ongoing. Luminous Leadership. Alright, now Haka is going to be able to kill Citizen Blood, and that will get us one step closer. We're one step away, really. Um, we'll just use Crush. No, use Teha. It's fine. Citizen Blood will go under. And we do want to place him under Savage Mana. Citizen Dawn. We'll take five. Okay, we can get rid of Phosphorescent Chamber, which we should do. Each player made his card one card. That's fine, we'll do that. Uh, let's get rid of Next Evolution. And we'll get rid of um, Inventory Barrage. And we'll get rid of Into the Stratosphere, I guess. Decoy Suggestion is fine, and... Hawk of Restor mm, Restoration is fine. Alright. Another Kraken. It's going to start hitting me now. It's fine. We'll just put the five damage, five damage on Tempest. The Inhuman Tempest. And that was fine. We know what she's going to do here. Healing Light. She'll regain ten. She'll hit for one. Love it. Okay. Do another Boister Allies. Choose automatically. These are fine. It doesn't really matter at this point. I, I, as far as I know, I have everything that I need to get this done, which is good. Um, we'll go ahead and Motivational Charge the Kraken. I want to get this thing killed. Okay. 
think we'll raise our ordinance here. For sure, infrared eyepiece. These are both bad. Two to everyone, three to everyone. Well, clearly Citizen Winter is coming out. And then we're going to raise our ordinance. The Kraken for six. Very nice. I should be able to kill it now. Go ahead and play localized hurricane. And um, Haka should be able to take care of the Kraken. Lots of flash floods, which is good. Should go ahead and play a decoy projection. Use her power on Legacy, I guess. Legacy ring, that's fantastic. Um, maybe get rid of next evolution. Okay, we'll play Dominion. Don't really need to, but then we'll Tayaha the Kraken. Go ahead, uh, choose automatically, put it under, and Dominion will let him draw a card. Yep. And then hit. Citizen Dawn for four. Hallway Collapse, three to everyone. It's a shame. Gotta make sure I don't kill Citizen Dawn before, uh... <laughs> Alright, Decoy Projection is gonna, gonna die. But yeah, I gotta make sure I don't actually kill her before I... See, I've got blood, I've got sweat. No, I got tears, I've got blood, I just need sweat. I don't know. I need one of them. I got I got one of them. <laughs> or two of them. Citizen Winter is gonna do her thing. <clears throat> okay, we'll go ahead and play Surge of Strength. We'll motivational charge on definitely not Citizen uh not Citizen Winter. Excellent. Kind of out of things to play. I guess we will throat jab on Citizen Dawn. So she can't deal damage. Use our eyepiece. Each player discards two cards and deal two, or ongoing in the villain turn, shuffle the villain trash, reveal cards until a citizen is revealed. Um, we'll go ahead and do Blinding Blast. And then we will control the environment deck. Leaking Room. Players cannot play hero cards. Increase lightning damage. Uh, that's fine. We can leave that in play. Lightning damage is not a big deal from them. I don't really need to play cards next turn, I don't think. So... Wait, what did I put on top of her deck? I don't think it matters that much. Oh, right, it puts it in play. It doesn't put it into the trash. <sighs> Whoopsie. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe we'll just flash flood it or something. Um, Grievous Hailstorm, I think that will be three or four damage. I think I'll just use... Oh, no, I need to... I need to use Squall. The reason why, by the way, I want all the citizens to go under Haka is so that she can't flip later on. Get some card draw on... who's got the least? Four, six, three, four. Okay, we'll, do, we'll use it on Tempest and see he's got the least amount of cards. He can discard Shielding Winds. Right, he can't play, so he will just 
crush on Citizen Winter. Citizen Winter goes under. The ruins of Atlantis. Oh, right. Destroyed at the beginning of the turn. Nice. Toxic Seaweed. Discard their hand. Well, that's definitely going to happen. Who can discard their hand? Be a lot of damage loss, but that would be okay. I need to keep this. Hang on. Whenever a hero uses a power, do the hero for toxic damage? Yeah, that just can't stay. I was thinking I could just use Wraith to clear it, but that. Uh... Well, no, I can survive that and then just let Wraith clear it. Or Tempest. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Or let Tempest clear it. So no, I'm gonna skip that. Lightning Blast, we knew that was coming out. Throw jab. Preventive damage, that's good. Get rid of a thock. And a back fist strike. Get rid of a second stun bolt. Trust fund is not super important anymore. Get rid of Gene Bound Shackles and Shielding Winds. Visionary can drop one suggestion and one cerebral hemorrhage. Haka can drop. What's his life at? 27, so he's fine. Doesn't need Haka of Restoration or Enduring Intercession. No damage. Good. That's just going to be a setup turn, I guess. Legacy Ring for two powers. Just go ahead and Motivational Charge. Just so people can heal. Seaweed will hit her, but that's fine. I won't use that next power. Okay. We're gonna play Grappling Hook to destroy. Interesting. The Krakens are still considered in play. Makes sense. Destroy the Toxic Seaweed. Dim Haka draws and Wraith draws. Infrared eyepiece. Oh, look at that. Look at what we just saved ourselves from. This was on top. Now it's going to the bottom. So note to self, when you want to unlock variants, controlling the enemy deck is good. Or shoot, when you want to do anything, controlling the enemy deck is good. Uh, I think we'll use Stun Bolt on her. So our damage gets reduced. Tempest can play Cleansing Downpour. Use that to heal. Good. We're in a great spot. We'll skip. And skip. She, she needs the card draw, so we can just get draw two by skipping both. Haka does not have much to do. So we'll double skip here as well. I need more citizens, please. More citizens in play. How it collapse, fine. Not that big a deal now that we have so much healing on the board. Citizen Don will draw and heal for 10. And that's it. Really, with Rook City Wraith's um, Infrared Eyepiece, I'm actually going through her deck twice as fast as well, which is good. We'll skip. Motivational Charge for the healing. Looks so we all took a bit of damage from Hallway Collapse. Skip using a second power. Um... Need to put anything to play. Infrared eyepiece. Interesting. Probably not though. This will go through her deck a lot faster, but I might actually start losing control, so I think I'll just play it safe. There's no reason not to. Uh we'll stun 
No, we don't need a stun bolter. We'll try to control the environment. Put this into play, it'll get destroyed. It doesn't really matter what we do here. Uh, except for players can't play cards, so yeah. Don't want to do that. Alright. Still nothing, really. Skip play phase. Use cleansing downpour. She doesn't really have a good play, so skip. And skip to draw two. Same thing with Haka. Just skip twice. Two damage to everything. Okay. Zap. Alright. Citizen battery is up. And that was fine. <laughs> that was almost inconsequential. Skip the play phase. Motivational charge on Citizen Battery to prep him for Savage Mana. And we actually will use her next ability, Atomic Glare, to hit Mystical Defenses for five. Alright, um, again, nothing really important to play. So skip that. Infrared Eyepiece. Luminous leadership is fine. And we will raise our ordinance. The mystical defenses for six. Hmm. Skip. Two targets, three. I think I'll just keep good doing cleansing downpour. Just because Tempest is at now eighteen, so he's he's not low, but he's low-ish. Alright. Mass levitation's a fine play. Just no real use for it. Eight, eleven. Yeah, I think we'll have a legacy draw. And we just picked up a card we don't need. Haka has nothing to do. But he will Tayaha on Citizen Battery. him underneath and on the mystical defenses. Perfect. Put that oh, choose automatically, put that underneath. Great. Environment turn. Pillars of Hercules. Players may play an additional card, use an additional power, draw an additional card. At the start of every turn, play the top card of the villain deck. At the start of the turn, a player may skip the rest of the turn to destroy this card. Um, so we'll probably do that. She'll get two plays here. We knew that was coming. We don't know what this next one is. Dare. Silly citizen dare. He will die quickly. And that was it. It was kind of boring. Anvil. And um, who, who do we want to skip? Probably Legacy. I can get both of these with Teoha, but that's fine. But we can't we can't play a card every single turn here. That would probably kill us. So we will skip. All right. 
really see anything that I need to play now, so I'll skip here. For sure, infrared eyepiece. There's sweat. Awesome. Gonna put sweat on top. So we are two turns away now from winning. Okay, and I'll raise your ordinance on anvil. And that set up both dare and anvil to go underneath um, Haka. Nothing to do here. Keep healing. Nothing to play here. Just skip twice, I think. Uh, no, I'll go ahead and use Mental Divergence to destroy her ongoing. Super minor, but might as well do it. Skip his play phase, and we will Tayaha on Anvil. Yes. And on Dare. Awesome. Put Citizen Dare beneath Savage Mana. Yes. Kraken came up again. Poor Tempest. He's actually getting a little bit lowish. Okay, we know he's going to play Tears. Or, I mean, Sweat. Who's got the highest HP? We'll just give it to Legacy. It's fine. Need to destroy an ongoing card. I think I'll get rid of Localized Hurricane. It's actually doing a little bit of damage to Tempest. <coughs> so that's fine. Okay. I think I'm actually going to take this opportunity. Well, no, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and get this done. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll skip. Motivational charge on citizen sweat. Yes. We will skip. Now we're just going to be... Well, actually, I should have used that on the Kraken. It doesn't really matter at all now. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just go ahead and use the Grappling Hook. Take out this Kraken. Infrared Eyepiece. This is fine. Devastating Aurora just now would would have just been... Ugh, I probably would have cried. Put that in the trash. Don't need extra damage. Skip play. Heal. Tempest. Foresight. But I'm not really going to do anything. <laughs> Skip, and we will crush on Citizen Sweat, and place him under Savage Mana. So on Haka's next turn, we will have the Baron Blade variant unlocked. Thankfully, it didn't take me more than two tries to get this done. Uh, Legacy is fine. Three damage. Excellent. So I think I'm just going to skip everything. Well, i got to go ahead and use Motivational Charge. Just to heal. Just in case something weird happens. I don't know what, but... We'll just skip until we get to Haka. All right. Haka does not need to play a card, but he does need to use a power. Savage Mana. Destroy all cards beneath this card. 
Haka deals one target X, where X is the number of cards destroyed this way times two. You know what? I probably could just kill if I had if I had not skipped my play phase, I could have used Haka of Battle and discarded everything and bumped up this damage to Yeah, I probably could have just killed her straight up now, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and do this. It's gonna destroy all of these. There we go. There's our variant unlocked. There's Baron Blade, a uh, Mad Bomber Baron Blade. And I don't want to go over his card yet. I will go over the card when um, when I fight him for the first time, which will be after all of my uh, all the variant unlocks. So there's one more villain unlock to go to finish the base game, and then there's three more for the first expansion. Look at that, 22 damage. Boom. Took her down about half of her what was her current life anyway that'll do it for this episode this unlock this variant unlock episode thank you so much for joining me we'll do um we'll do omnitron next and i'll see you next time